Hello everyone. This is a recording for the students of Institute of Cost Accountants of India. CMA Intermediate Students. Operations Management and Strategic Management paper. In that we will be discussing transportation from chapter 4, Production Planning and Control today. In the previous video we saw transportation initial allocation using northwest corner rule in this method or in this video we'll be discussing about least cost method for initial allocation <clears throat> for introduction to transportation please listen to the other video so this was the result from our Northwest corner rule based allocation and our total cost was 4,230. So I'll remove the allocation data from the previous lecture. As the method indicates, least cost method. In Northwest corner, we just went by the uh, Northwest corner point of the table, which is the top left, and then started the allocation. Whereas in this method, we'll be talking about uh, least cost method of allocation. So for now, I'll delete these as well because we don't know from where how many units are going to be transported using least cost method so on the least cost method we start with the cost of transportation which is the least so the least cost of transportation is zero and you are seeing that in three dummy markets so we can take any of these to start our allocation. So let's start our allocation here. The total market demand, the dummy market requires 110 units or you have to cut down your production by 110 units. So I mark that 110 and uh, I strike this 250 and leave the balance 130 as the capacity at factory one after reducing production of 110 units. And this becomes zero. Now, for further analysis, we should not consider this entire column. So I would recommend you take a pencil and strike through this column. For our example, I'll just fill it with a different color. Since gray is already used, I'll use this color. So for further analysis, we'll not be considered this, considering this column as I have exhausted the 110 market demand. Now in the balance cells, we have to find out the least cost. So 876549755. So the least cost is in cell four, which is for transporting goods from factory two to market two is the least cost. So you want to make use of that least cost opportunity first. And what is the maximum we can allocate here? The market requires only 260 units, whereas I have 320 units. So I'll use only 360. And after giving 360, it's 260. This becomes zero. And after giving 260 units to the other factory, you have 60 units left here. And again, since this column is zero or this market is zeroed out, we'll fill it with the shade to ensure that we don't use it in further calculations. 
Okay. So we are left with only two columns now, market one and market three. We have to find out the lease cost. Lease cost is there in factory three to market three, this cell, as well as this cell. Phi is the lease cost now, and it's available in both cells. So when there is a tie, where to allocate? Could be a question. So the answer is, wherever you can maximize the allocation, use that cell or use that root. These are roots. Each box is a root from factory two to market one is that root. In that root, the cost is five. Similarly, factory three to market three is also five. So where should I make the allocation? If I allocate here in this cell, I can allocate only 60 units because factory two has only 60 units left. It has already used 260 in the market two allocation. Whereas factory three in this cell has 280 units left and the demand is 180. So we can allocate here because we want to take advantage of maximum possible quantity in lease cost. So 180. So this becomes zero. And this becomes after giving 180, 100. And again, this market is also exhausted. In your case, please use a pencil to strike through the column. So one we have, once we have struck through all three columns, we are left with only one market which needs goods. And it needs to get it from three different factories. Factory one gives 130. Factory two gives 60. And factory three gives 100. At this point, we need not consider lease cost because only one market is left out. There is no decision making. Just keep giving whatever is available to that market. So all these three will become zero. So I'm taking time to just complete it properly. So 300 after allocating 130 would have become 170. And 170 after allocating 60 would have become 100. Um, did I make a mistake somewhere? Yes, I did. So this is 140 and not 130. So I'm using all the 140 units here. So 300 after allocating 140 will become 160. And 160 after allocating 60 becomes 100. And 100 after allocating becomes zero. So This is the final allocation under lease cost method. And now we'll write down all the sources and markets. F1 is supplying to M1 at eight rupees, 140 units. Again to dummy zero. 110 units. F2 is supplying to M1 and M2, 5 and 4, 60 and 260 units. And from factory 3, we are sending to market 1 and market 3. And the 
the rates are seven and five. The units 100 and 180. So total units sent 850, which includes a dummy allocation of 110. And the total cost is 4060. Now comparing this with the results of Northwest Corner. Northwest Corner, the total cost was 4230. Whereas it has come down under least cost method to 4060. So between these two, which would give a better result, least cost method would give you a better result. Northwest corner doesn't use any logic or doesn't consider any opportunities. It just allocates from top left corner, keeps traveling towards bottom right. Whereas least cost method considers the least cost available and tries to make use of that cost, which ensures that the total cost is reduced. Total transportation cost comes down. So this is transportation initial allocation using least cost method. So she'll connect with you again with the same problem solved under Vogel's approximation method. Thank you all.